I asked you guys what we should invest our money into in this episode and you guys said we should invest it in to cargo. So in today's video we're going to be sorting out our most important cargo route which is going to make us bucket loads of money and you know we can probably invest some of that back into the military anyway. So let's get started with it and I actually before the video I had a look around and I did see a very very cool thing we can do which is uh, over here we can see we are actually making steel for this private company. Now we can take the steel off this private company uh, using this tools line. As you can see this line here is set up to pick up tools that are being brought back by these horse and cart from all the way down here at this tools factory. But uh, they're taking the steel down there and making tools bringing them back. We can take tools and steel away on this train and the tools can be dropped off down here at Felicity. Now our main cargo train, which is going to be super long by the way, the train we have is so powerful it's going to be awesome. Now the train we have is going to take the coffee as mentioned, it's also going to take the silver as mentioned, but we can actually take down some tools and some steel with us because over here as you can see, over in Crosset we actually are requiring some steel over here. So we can take the steel and tools to Fancy Gap and then the horse and carts can take the steel over to this machines factory. But before that we need some more vehicles because at the minute we're currently using vehicles on lines we aren't actually doing anything with. Because if you can remember in the previous video we made some explosives in Felicity and we came over to Lauby and blew these two bridges up just here because the gang over in Mount Victory are inevitably going to come and try and get us and it just gives them one less option. It means they have to go all the way over here up to this wall and this is where we'll meet them with our army eventually. I'm not sure on the situation on that. I don't know what's, what they're doing. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out in later episodes, so stay tuned for that. But we are going to have to retire some vehicles from these lines. So as you can see, we made these ports in the previous episode for the cargo. But since we don't need any more explosives, we can actually just take this route off. And we have the Wilhelm the first on here. We are desperately in need over here for some more tools. There's plenty of vehicles waiting to pick up tools. So let's put this one back on sort tool. And then if we go back to this line over here, wood to paper, we can actually just go ahead and delete. But now on to the fun stuff. So let's take a look at over here. We need to pick up some coffee and we need to drop off some silver. So we're going to need, I'm going to, we do technically only need a drop off point, but I am going to do a pick up point because eventually we are going to want to pick up the silver bars that we have processed. So let's go and grab ourselves a truck station and we are going to put one platform on this thing and I'm going to try and slide it in right at the end here. Let's just straighten it up a little bit. Uh, so probably a little bit longer than that actually so about let's say like that right perfect and then this is going to have to pick up from the town now we need this route here don't we because there's no road here at the minute that's okay so we'll go to our roads and we will find our cheapest road there it is and this can go in a straight fashion preferably from along here uh, down to this road over here perfect there we go that's in Okay, and then on this side, we're going to need a stop. And come to think of it, just to save an extra bit of money, let's get rid of this road here. And we can go to our buildings and put a building just in here, nice and snug. And then that can go into there, like that. And that means we don't have to spend as much money on road maintenance. Little tips like that always help in the brutal mode, because everything is really expensive. But now we've got that going, we can sort out our coffee. And for coffee, it's a similar situation. We'll just get one of these, make it 30 meters long, and we will plop it down on this side. And then now we can hook these two lines up. So if we go to a new line, and um, we'll go from coffee to the drop off point. So we'll call this one cough to ref one. We'll make it a nice coffee color. Perfect, and make that one full there. And then we can get a new line that goes from that one there over to our silver mill over here. And then this one here has to be full. And this one can be sill to ref one. And now comes the train. Now this is going to be a tricky one to do, I think. All the infrastructure is there, but the way I have to plan it out is a little bit interesting. Uh, because there's stuff like this over here with just the one track. And I'm thinking this platform is going to be way too short, honestly. I'm sure we'll find out. Uh, but what we need to do is we go over to our hub. So first stop is going to be here at Felicity. And that needs to be full. And that's going to go in the loop, so that's fine. We'll just go to the signal. Where are we? Signal, signal, signal. Just go to this signal there. All right. And then that's going to go through there. Perfect. That's going to go, I think, all the way down here with no issues. Yes. Uh, keep going this way. All the way. Yeah, looking good. Uh, now that's going to go into the cargo section on this side. Good. And then now this needs to go all the way down here. 
and that's going to have to go to this signal just about there yes good and then that's going back on itself and that's right good okay awesome this can be called pub train one now trains let's take a look at what we can do we've got the class t and the d3 over at the depot and we also have available for purchase from Westhampton engineering works is the class b which seems to be very very good at accelerating but not so good at high speed which is it's good for us because we do have lines that are suited for that but we don't want to use this on the main line because the main line is quite long but what we can do if we look here at the Borsig and the GV, which we're currently using on our uphill slope towards the steel mill, uh, these have a, a relatively good top speed and quite a bit of power. So personally, I'm thinking we don't need the acceleration, so tractive air is not a big issue. But the Borsig has, seems to have the best power rating, which means it can pull a lot more. So I think we're going to go with a Borsig and we'll get the one that is obviously the most powerful. So I get one that's got good power and good speed, it's 208, 48, 203 and 48, 185, 68, that one's good. Uh, the issue is, I'm, I'm just thinking, the top speed of the line is actually 50 and it'll cost a lot of money to upgrade that. So we got to bear that in mind. But this one is 48, which is nearly track speed limit anyway, but it has a whole 203 kilowatts. So if we go back to our steel mill, let's find the Borsig, here it is. So I'll take the Borsig back to the depot and we're going to swap the Borsig out with the new train. One thing this train would be really, really good at is like a passenger service that goes very short distances, a commuter service basically between each town because it just has insane acceleration. It might not have good speed, but it, acceleration is definitely there. But the Class B is now on this copper route, which is perfect. And we do now have the Borsig back at the depot. So let's check it on the line. Okay, here are our three trains we do have available for us, which is perfect because three is all we need. We're going to need one train to take all of the goods to the destination. We're going to need one train to pick up the silver and drop it off at the hub. And we're going to need one train to pick up the tools and steel and take it to the hub. So first of all, let's sort out our silver. Which train has the good amount of power, but not necessarily a good amount of speed? Now, a train which is really good for this is going to be the Class T, which is why I've got it in the depot here. The Class T will be going up the hill to the tools, and the silver, which is pretty much just all a flat route anyway, can be the D13, which has good top speed, but bad power. I think this works out pretty perfectly. So if we go into our depot here, we can see what stock we have available. 15 box cars, uh, a couple of passengers, but they're irrelevant at this point. So D13, let's go to manage. So for the D13, we're going to need silver, which I think is going to be a gondola. It is awesome. We don't have any gondolas in storage, so we'll have to produce some over in our engineering sector. If we take a look at the gondolas here, the top speed is only 35. So if we go to our steam engine, we can actually go for power, which is something I wasn't expecting, as long as we are above 36. Uh, so we've got 50. So yeah, so 50 is for the sort of average one, I think. That one is actually insane. That's really good, but it might be a bit expensive for what we're doing. So I think I'm going to go with this one, which is only two kilometers an hour less. We'll get that one there. That's actually saving us a bit of money. Awesome. Uh, and then we go for the cargo and gondola and we'll get the most expensive one which is also the fastest one i think we're going to go with let's say one two three four five six seven eight i think eight is a good number and then this one can go on to the line which i believe is called silter hub one that can head out awesome stuff and now for the class t this needs to be our tools and our steel. But you can actually see we do have these boxcars available to use. So if we go to our Class T here, uh, we can go to our gondolas and let's just see here. So the Class T, first of all, we're going to need a lot of power, not necessarily speed, preferably 50, but uh, we don't need 50. 50 is just the, the top speed. So 45 and 145, that's good. Uh, 45, 145, they're all sort of the same here. Uh, we're looking at tractive effort, which is just acceleration, really. It's probably going to be this one, so we'll get that one, and then we can modify that for 37,000. I think that's a good investment. And then go to modify cargo. Now, how many cars are we going to need here? This is going to be an interesting one, because I have to balance the hill climb, which is going to slow the train down quite a lot, uh, and actually having the capacity I need. So we'll get one that goes at least 45 here. Uh, so let's see here, 48, 46, 44... I will go with that one there. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then flat car, we can go with the spacious, I believe is the fastest. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So our class T here can go on our goods route, which I believe is called weapons drop. Um, right, let's rename that. It's because we used to produce weapons here for the war. Uh, we are actually just making tools now, I believe, which is <laughs> a bit, bit more friendly. So we can rename this one to 
two plus steel drop one. I'm going to go with a steely sort of color because they are both technically metal things. So I'll go with something a bit like that. Okay, there goes the class T, it's off. Now, before that does anything, we're gonna need some supply from the coffee place. So if we go to buy vehicles, we can get one, two, three, four, five, I'm gonna start off with, and that's gonna go on cough to ref one. Awesome, and then I'm gonna get just one of these, which is gonna go on the silver one for now, just because there's not gonna be anything here for quite a while, but I do need something that's gonna be supplying when it does come. And we can always upgrade it, so that's fine. Any moment soon, we should see a lot of money rolling in, which is going to be really, really good. Now, the final thing we need to do is pick up and drop off at the coffee refinery over here. So let's get a turnaround point, which we, we can actually replace this road with. If we just get rid of this completely and then slide that in just there, like that, and exit just there. And look at that. That is genius right there. Pro gaming. Now all that set up, we can expect to see some huge losses, and to fix it, it's simply just a case of link them all together with one train. The Borsig's here, let's do it. My engineering genius is sometimes frightening. On the way there, we can pick up the coffee and take it, and on the way back, those same boxcars can be used to pick up tools. It's so profitable, I love it. Let's chuck these boxcars on it. We finally used all our boxcars up, just gotta get rid of these passenger cars that we've got sitting around. So let's go to our steak cars. We only have 50 or 46, we'll go with the 50. So we'll get one, two, three, four, five of those. And the last thing is gondolas for the silver. We only go 35, so I'm, I'm considering retuning the train actually. 35 is the limit. These are really, really uh, annoying. Uh, I wish they went a lot quicker. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five of those. And then we'll go back to the Borsig and we'll just swap it out for something a bit better actually. So Borsig, and then we're looking for above 35, but lots of power. So 55, 69, yeah, these aren't great, are they? Okay, well, I guess we'll stick with the one we've got then. Okay, on we go. So this is gonna be the hub train, number one. There we go, Borsig, off your pop, mate. Look at this beauty. So this is by far the longest train we've done so far. I mean, look at it, it's, it's just huge. It will go on for absolutely forever. This is gonna hopefully make us some serious money. The train is 158 meters long. I'm not sure we can cater to that, actually. I'm not sure we have a station long enough for it. Uh, let's just check Fancy Gap. Yeah, this station is definitely, definitely not long enough. Let's quickly fix that. We'll just pop the end off there. And then we'll go... Ooh, hello, you're new. We got some different types of covers. Wow, they're nice. All right, anyway. Uh, we'll go over to our tracks. I can probably just go as far as I like with this, to be honest. Just keep going down here a bit. Uh, probably, it probably there's as far as I can go, realistically. And then we'll find our cargo platforms. I actually kind of want to use these, to be honest with you. I think they're cheaper. That is looking much better. We can definitely hold the train in there now. And then this track can go, it's going to be a bit of a weird one because there's a bit of an incline, but uh, this track can go down here and we can slot that just before the crossing. And that hopefully won't look awful. It's not, it's not great. It, it works though, so we'll do that. Okay and a signal as well can go there. Okay, I think I should solve the problem. I must say though, that is really ugly. <laughs> that is awful. The amount of money we are gonna lose before we actually start to make like a, a good profit is, is gonna be insane. Uh, we are already on minus 200K. I'm gonna see just quite how much we're gonna lose before we get there. I'm gonna estimate around 5 million. Leave a comment right now how much you think we're gonna lose. And now it's time in the episode, as it is a new episode, to do a new year. Oh passenger car. Damn it, it's just tune-ups. That's annoying. But in the meantime, we're stuck with these brilliant and definitely not very underpowered locomotives from the 1850s, 60s and 70s. <laughs> now, no coffee's being made here yet because it's got nowhere to go. It's just going to the train and then it's getting dropped off at the station. We'll go for a new line from pickup point here and then we already set this up in the previous episode over to over here. Make it a lovely coffee colour and we'll call this one Cough to Ref. Number two, any moment soon we should see some coffee being made. That's insane, we're already down to minus five million. That's crazy. I do hope this doesn't kill our company, that'd be terrible. So now we'll take a look at my favorite comments from the last episode. Now there were so many comments last episode, it was absolutely crazy and I thank you guys so much for it, it really does mean a lot. And I can't include them all because there was just too many. But I will mention just a couple, so we've got one here from Tanky McPlainface, awesome name by the way, who says, I love how unlike other Transport Fever 2 YouTube videos, you made a cool story and have masses of realism like the depot yard. Keep up the good work. 
Well, I say thank you very much, Tanky. It does mean a lot. And we've got one here from James Petrusik. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Who says, simply, best videos ever. And that is bloody brilliant, I tell you. And if you guys want a chance in being featured in the next episode, make sure to leave a comment because I read every single one and who knows, you might even be featured in the next video. Okay, so just looking at this train, it seems to be really struggling up like the slightest inclines and I think I know why. It's because at the rear of the train, which by the way has not got to the top of the incline yet, seems to be the heaviest goods, which is the oars. So there's an easy thing we can do, which is gonna be to swap the cars around. Now, I think it's actually the wrong way around completely. I think this train should be at the other end of this consist because it looks like the more heavy stuff is on the, this end of the train and the more lighter stuff's on this end. There's not much in it, but the, the ore should definitely be at the front of the train. So I'm going to do that. Uh, but as you can see, the train is absolutely speeding down here now. It's got over the hill, so it's a definite sore. But let's see how much this train makes us as it pulls into the station. Okay, and we are stopping. Minus 186 is the current earnings. Let's see. 800,000. That just made a million pulling in here. That's very good. Right, awesome. Okay. It does look like this place is actually struggling for capacity, so we can very quickly fix that. Oh, hello, you're new. Don't think we need any of it, but that's very cool. Uh, if we just put that on the end there. In fact, can we put it there? Oh, that's class, that. Right, put that on there. And then now we should have lots more storage. Let's see here, terminals. Yes, 75 more. That actually so that solves a lot of problems, but it's not enough. So we do need to put one more in, I think. So we'll put that in just like that. And now we should have 150 extra. And I think that might just be enough. That's looking really nice, actually. So I also put an extra couple of boxcars on the train because it turns out we're actually producing way more boxcar orientated things. We're producing tools and coffee by the fistful. We are producing so much tools and coffee. It is absolutely insane. I cannot believe how much we're producing. So just putting those extra two on will really, really make a difference for our profits. And just check out this cargo yard. We have so much rolling stock in here. It's insane. Absolutely crazy. We're running out of room. Um, I tell you what, we might have a video very soon where we just completely rebuild some storage because we don't have that much. It really looked like it, it might look like we have a bit, but we really don't because these two are mainline and then all of these are taken. So we're just down to these three tracks here, which is literally nothing. So uh, yeah, it might be a video on that very soon. Over here at McDonald military base, you can see some of the refugees didn't actually take the train back to Woodstock and they've set up camp here. Which is a bit dangerous to be honest considering the enemy's definitely going to be coming down to come and get us. So my question to you is, which you can find on the community section in my channel, should we heavily fortify this area right here? Or should we ready our army to go on the full offensive once again? Let me know on the vote you guys, let's absolutely smash it this time with 200 votes and if you want to see every episode in this series, click this playlist right here.